Both the left and the right are on first dates with Tea Party members, hoping to get their support during the 2012 presidential elections. Joining us to talk about the push for Tea Party votes are political insiders Chris Begala and Jim McGrath. Chris, first to you. The Tea Party is the new kid on the block. Does it really carry that kind of weight for a 2012 win? I think it does, and I think it's unbelievable, the movement, and I think it's going to continue. Tea Party, I think everybody would like to just take it and put it in the microwave and push two minutes and 12 seconds and get the answer, but you can't do that. These are people who vote. These are people who are active. It's also a group that's growing in numbers because there are a lot of Americans that they're not happy with the direction of this country. They're not happy with a far-left agenda of President Obama. So the Tea Party is probably going to tip the balance. Jim McGrath, does it also play a role in the actual general election taking place in the fall of 2012? I think it absolutely does, JP. We've seen that the heft that the Tea Party brought into the political process in the midterm elections in 2010, you know, the Republicans won in a landslide and and the wind underneath their wings was literally the Tea Party. We see the heft that they're bringing to the budget debate ongoing in Washington, D.C. today. So they're showing a lot of political muscle, not only in the midterm elections, but in the political dynamic going on today. With so much on the line here, Chris, is there any chance or any way that this could backfire for the GOP and or the Tea Party. Well, you know, I don't think it's going to backfire on the Tea Party because those people are going to vote and they are going to vote for whoever is moving this country forward and really reducing debt and stop this crazy out-of-control spending. So it will backfire on candidates on the Republican side if they don't adhere to that mantra. But Jim McGrath, during general election campaigning, everybody knows the candidates move to the center. They've got to get those independents. Does that work with the Tea Party influence playing such a strong role? I think it does, JP, because I think if you look at President Obama's own numbers uh, and how they've been tanking, going south, dropping every week, every month, I think these people, uh, the, the Tea Party, have brought a helpful dynamic in that also attracts a lot of independent voters. Of uh, the likely 2012 Republican presidential candidates, Jim, who would most likely cooperate and dance, if you will, with the Tea Party? In terms of candidates that are out there right now, Lana, I would think that Michelle Bachman, if she were to mount a candidacy, she's identified, I think, most closely of all the Republican candidates that you hear mentioned. But you also see others like Tim Pawlenty is making a move towards the Tea Party element. So I think you're going to see all of the major candidates courting that element, that energy, trying to capture that to boost their own candidacies going forward. Thanks so much, Political Insiders Jim McGrath, of course, and Chris Pagala.